Oh, hey, hey guys. I'm just uh, auditioning for my next uh, silent film. Only thing I'm missing is a time machine. Anyway, guys, today I'm doing the top five silent films. Once upon a time, there wasn't sound in movies. It was until the 1930s that the talkies came around. That's what they called the movies back then that had sound. Before then, you had a lot of motion, a lot of great stunts in films, but no sound. A lot of music that was accompanied by an orchestra. So, there's a lot of silent films out there. These are the five that I think are the most essential and some of the best. Number five is a film uh, that came out in the early 1920s, and it was called The Mark of Zorro. It starred Douglas Fairbanks, who was a great stuntman, and he appeared in a lot of films in the 1920s. Mark of Zorro introduced for the first time the character of Zorro on the big screen. The story is very simple. He's a pretty much uh, a Hispanic version of Robin Hood. Number four is a film that a lot of people perhaps have seen. This is a classic silent film, uh, and that movie is Nosferatu. Nosferatu is pretty much a classic vampire story, and I'm not going to say much about it because this is a film that should be experienced. It is, uh, perhaps by, by some people it might be considered a little slow, a little boring, but it has some of the greatest uh, scenes in any horror film that you probably have seen before in some way, shape, or form that have perhaps, been even in, perhaps even been imitated. Number three is a film that was released in the later part of the 1920s, 1927. It's a film by Fritz Lang known as Metropolis. A great silent film, not just for its uh, scenery, but for its visual effects at the time. Even to this day, when I watch some of the scenes in this film, it's hard to believe that a lot of it was just hand-drawn animation. The film has several versions. I would highly suggest that you stay away from the public domain version, which is incomplete. It runs like a 90 minutes. Try to find the complete uh, restored version that was released by Kino Lober in, I think it was in 2012, that contains the complete 150-something minute version. And you're going to see in this film how well uh, uh, the German uh, filmmakers created uh, these silent films. The techniques that were used and how these actors really showed you what it was like to make scenes work without voices. Number two is uh, a film by uh, Charlie Chaplin, who is perhaps one of the most famous actors of the time doing silent films. This one is also on public domain, and you can watch the public domain version because it is a complete version, and it's called The Kid. The Kid tells the story of uh, Charlie Chaplin playing the character of the tramp who is just living in the slums, and he comes across a kid that he adopts. Not by choice. I can't tell you exactly how it happens because that would ruin uh, a primary, uh, a, a specific scene in the movie. Very funny. Charlie Chaplin was known for his uh, innovative skills in being jumpy and eccentric. And again, he did a lot without telling you much. There's actually, in comparison to other silent films at the time, there was very little title cards. A lot of his movies were just straightforward action sequences. Number one. But I chose a number one, another Charlie Chaplin film. This was a film that was released in the 1930s. This was after like a, several f talking pictures had been released. And that movie is City Lights. City Lights is perhaps one of the most famous of Charlie Chaplin's films. Primarily because it was the last silent film that he made. After this film, he didn't really make much uh, films. He made one film that was actually a talking film, and that was The Great Dictator. That's the only film of his that got recognition. But City Lights was written and directed by Charlie Chaplin. And he pretty much puts the, the Tramp in his last appearance. And perhaps one of the best appearances for the Tramp. Great film. It's available in Criterion. Highly recommended. Don't want to tell you too much about the story. But it's basically Charlie Chaplin saving a, uh, helping a blind girl who needs an operation to see again. And the way that story unfolds is, is, is classical. It has a great score as well. Let me know which is uh, your favorite uh, silent film. Is there one that I didn't mention? There's one I know I didn't mention, which is The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which is very famous, I know, but I have yet to see it, so that's why I haven't included it on this list. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, and I know you're looking at me, you want to... That would probably be number one. 
but you have to go and be a, yeah. a I haven't seen it. It's, it's, don't kill me now. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave it in the comments section down below. Make, please make sure to click the subscribe button. I'm Best Guy, and this is Best Top 5.